All right, so in this step, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom AI employee using whatever prompt you want. I have already gone ahead for time's sake and created a prompt for Fat Pig Barbecue Food Truck. We're working with a lot of food trucks right now, so we're gonna go ahead and show a demo on this so that our customers can use this to check out everything that they need to do. So if you are watching this, trying to build your own AI employee, check this out. So we're gonna go in here to AI Powered Employees. And we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna call this food truck industry company name is fat pig barbecue and then we're going to do so we could do a custom here and we could let ai generate this for us what happens here is you have different goals that we have preset in here or you can put in a custom version and the ai will actually take what you input here and it'll build it for you i prefer using a separate ai system where i created my own frameworks and then I can build it out specific for each use case using that custom framework. Uh, we are building more frameworks in this that will have templates and all you have to do is follow this. And for the specific food truck industry, you'll have a template. Insurance will have a template. Hotel hospitality will have an imp uh, its own. Uh, energy sector, we're working with an electricity company in a uh, major state and that will have a template so that we can make that for any state out there. And we will be able to customize these templates however you want. So now we put in the AI employee name, we're gonna call it Jamie. And then food truck marketing ambassador, I don't like that. So we're gonna put this as order taker and that was AI pulling that in based off of the food truck industry. So we're gonna click next here in here we are going to go with Jessica as the um, person that we want. Uh, we'll just choose this phone number since we already have this and we're going to click next. Now this is going to give me a basic system in here to work with. It didn't have anything else to pull from. So it's going to give it the name, the company name and leave everything else blank so that we can customize our framework in here. And now we have our blank template for our AI VA system. So now I'm gonna come back in here and we're going to grab all of the information that I need. And it did a bad job on this key points area. So I have to skip that, but that's not a big deal. And actually let's just do this. So now we've got the personality in here. So I'm gonna copy this out We've got the role, objective, purpose, everything that we need. So now we're gonna paste that in here. So now we've got our system prompt. So then we go back to our stages. So we've got a greeting, menu, inquiry, order placement, payment processing, and feedback request. So we're gonna start building these out. So let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five stages that we need to add. So we're gonna click this add new conversation stage five times so now we have five of them then all i do is i come back here and we copy and paste this in now this is the beginning stage of this i'm going to show you this is the 101 version so i'm going to show you how to do this very simply the rest of this will come down to tweaking it and i'm not going to do that here we're going to do that in a different video so i'm just going to show you exactly how to start building your ai employee from here, after we do all of this, you're going to have to create automations. You're gonna to have to link different systems in here. Uh, there's a lot that has to happen. So we will do that in separate videos. For now, I just want you to know how to create a custom AI employee from scratch without using the built-in AI. You get a lot better results this way. And this gives you complete control without having to use our frameworks. Now, by all means, our frameworks are extremely good and you can use them, but they don't work in every scenario. So this is for the person who says, hey, you know, we could use those frameworks, but it's not quite getting the results we want. This is how you customize your system. So what I'm doing here, I'm going through every piece of this. So we have the stage title, then we have a stage prompt, telling it how to engage with the user. We give it an example, and then we give it a conversation vision. So down here in the conversation vision, I'll show you that here in a second after I finish this up. That is how we link the stages together. All right, so this is where we give it the 
brain, so to speak, on how to understand the context of the conversation and where to go next. This is how we differentiate ourselves from other systems. We can go through the conversation vision and we can make sure that the greeting only connects to the menu inquiry, only connects to the order placement and payment processing feedback request. And you can go all the way through and make sure it all links. In my prompt, I have it tell us, connects to menu inquiry or order placement. So basically this can link to either one of them. If they already know what they want, we're gonna click custom and we're letting, letting them ask about the menu or just place an order. So now we save. Then we go to menu inquiry. And here, it can go to, yeah, this says greetings. We don't really need that. So we're gonna say order placement or feedback request. I have to read the feedback request. I didn't really go through that. So let's read it really quickly. Uh, after the meal, check in to see how everything was. We can do this by setting a dele uh, delay, a revive attempt, or we can trigger a uh, an action here with a tool and it should be, schedule follow-up later. So we'll put schedule follow-up later in that system. All right, so we can do that. So let's just assume you're not doing this with a barbecue company, right? And you want to uh, maybe have it book a meeting. You can go in and do a calendar booking. You can have it do all these things. Uh, you can have it do a custom AI function where you actually tell it what data to pull out of the uh, conversation, throw that data into an automation as a variable. There's a lot of different things you can do. Transfer a call. So we build these out for call centers. If the AI doesn't know an answer, we can transfer this to a human number. And there, there's a lot of different reasons you should do this. Um, but this is how you build a custom AI that is conversational. And then from here, you can go to communication tools and you can connect them to, let's say we wanna connect it to a phone. So we're gonna enable it. We got the name hooked up to this number and then we'll make sure the number matches and we can save it right there. So it's gonna go through and think for a second and then it's gonna say, congratulations, you've got your number connected, blah, 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 whatever it says. Um, you can add background noise to this for like the call centers to make it sound more like it's human. You can put it as office chatter and noise. I don't use that. People know it's AI. I don't wanna make them think it's not. So it's completely okay to not use that, but some people like it. So let's continue to connect these. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and then I will connect all of them. And then from there, I will do a demonstration of how this works and we're not gonna edit any of the prompts. We're just gonna use it exactly how it is. Okay, so now we have our greeting, menu inquiry, order placement, payment processing, and feedback all linked. You can see that the greeting can link to either the menu or the order placement and everything else pretty much goes in line. And order placement is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see I have a typo in here, so I need to make sure that's fixed. And we save everything. And I did wanna clarify, I said I wasn't going to fix any prompts. I did put in here because of the way we do this, we have it text a uh, payment link and after the payment link is uh, received, the customer can pay. It then gets a confirmation of payment and we send a text to the food truck owner as well as the person ordering the food with a order number and a time frame. So the food truck uh, operator knows how long they have to get the food ready and the person picking up knows about the time it will be picked up. So I wanted to make sure we put that in there uh, as well. And now we can call this AI employee and see exactly how it works. So let's dial this number 704-476-1337. Hi, Iva. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm just peachy. Thank you for asking. Now, I hear you're interested in trying out some of our delicious barbecue from Fat Pig Barbecue. What are you in the mood for today? We've uh, got some mouth-watering options that are sure to tickle your taste buds. Yeah, I want some barbecue pulled pork, some sweet potato fries, and a large sweet tea. Oh, honey, you've made a fantastic choice. Our barbecue pulled pork is so tender and flavorful, and those sweet potato fries are the perfect side. And you can't go wrong with a large sweet tea to wash it all down. Now, would you like to add some of our tangy coleslaw or maybe a slice of cornbread to your order? Yeah, cornbread sounds great.
Perfect. So we have your order. Barbecue pulled pork, sweet potato fries, a large sweet tea, and a slice of cornbread. Now, would you like to pick it up today, or would you prefer to schedule a time for tomorrow? Ooh, uh, I just want it today. That sounds so good. Great choice. I'll get that order ready for you today. Just to confirm, would you like to pick it up in about 30 minutes, or do you have a specific time in mind? 30 minutes is good. Thank you kindly. I've got your order for barbecue pulled pork. Sweet potato fries, a large sweet tea, and a slice of cornbread all set for pickup in 30 minutes. I'll send you a text with the payment link shortly. We accept cash, card, or even a smile. Just kidding. Card will do just fine. Is there anything else you need before I finalize that for you? No, that's it. Thank you. And so I didn't have her programmed to even know what costs we had associated with that. When we build these out, you put the entire menu in the back end, you give it the pricing, and we build out custom tools to be able to actually calculate what the total is and send that in the custom payment link, which has the customer's name on it, the business's name on it, and the total price. And then all the customer has to do is pay. Once they do that, the automations on the back end take over, sending them all the information. So you've seen how good that was. And that took me less than 15 minutes to create that. Realistically, if I'm going to go ahead and customize this with the, all the menu information, we're going to go into the training data here and we're going to add training data to it. So we're going to add content and this is where we put the menu uh, and we would put item equals price over and over again. And we would put that entire menu in there, uh, making sure that's good. We would submit that. And then we would also add a calculation in there to um, give it context. And even over here, I would go down here and I would say when purchasing um, items, calculate the total and send to the customer. And if I could type, that would have done better, but this is all it is. It's really just piece by piece taking care of every little thing that you need in this. And there, it requires tweaking, but off the bat, you heard her personality took over. Um, it walked through the greeting menu inquiry, which really didn't need it. Skipped over this because I gave it the option to. It took the order, we did the payment processing, and then later on, with a wait time, I can schedule this to come back and ask how the food was, and then we could even ask for a um, review based on that. So there's a lot that we can do with creating these AIBAs. So that's it for creating the AIBA, and if you need anything else, let us know, but this is a very simple process, and now we're even creating templates. Once you find one, and you use it over and over again, you can save an AIBA as a base template, click it, go through the beginning stages, put in the business name, the AI name, the personality, all those pieces of information, and you can duplicate this in minutes.